For the sake of Brutus, I behold it to you. You gentle Romans. Friends? Romans? Countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesars, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft indebted with their bones, so let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus has told you that Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously has Caesar answered at it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. He did bring many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this and Caesar seem ambitious? One that the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. But Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the leper cow, I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure, he is an honorable man. But yesterday, the word of Caesar would have stood against the world. Now lies he there. And they would come and kiss dead Caesar's wounds and dip their napkins in his sacred blood. Oh, masters, if, if I were disposed to stir your hearts and minds to mutiny and rage, I should do Brutus wrong and Cassius wrong, who you all know are honorable men. I will not do them wrong. I should rather wrong the dead and wrong myself and you than I would wrong such honorable men. I speak not to disprove what Brutus says. But here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, and not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? Oh, justice, thou art fled to say a doom, wretched beast, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar. And I must pause till it return to me.